Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Geeky and Dangerous vlog. I am Gareth, trying out a few new bits and pieces. Got light, 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 bookcase. And today I'm going to show you how to do a pass by transition in Sony Vegas Pro. Let's do this! So for those of you that don't know, a pass-by transition looks a little bit like this. And obviously the point of a pass-by transition is for it to look fantastic. And today I'm just going to show you how to do that, so let's get right into it. So you've got Vegas Pro open. First thing that we're going to do is open the files that we're using. So I have my files in here under pass-by transition tutorial. So I'm going to load that into here. So I'm going to use this part of the file here. So for those of you that don't know, a pass by transition looks a little bit like this. This file here is going to make up our first part of that transition. All right, so now that you've got the first clip, you're going to get yourself to the point where you can see the first amount of background right behind that arm. So what I mean by that is this section here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna split that. So this clip here is gonna remain as it is. This clip here is gonna be your transition. The next thing that you're gonna do is find the extra clip. So I'm gonna start that extra clip here. And I'm gonna stop it there. Now this clip here is actually gonna come down underneath. Now what you've got is your first clip here, which is your transition clip, and your second clip is underneath it. But for the moment, we're just gonna leave that clip over there. Now this clip here, you're gonna go into your cropping tool, and you've got this here, you're gonna go right to the very start of that, and then you're gonna click on mask, and you're gonna click this little anchor creation tool here. We're aiming to create a box that sort of cancels out this extra space here, so beyond my arm. Now, as you can see at the moment, over here, what that's done in the preview section is it's completely dropped off except for that little section there. So what we want to do is we want to change the mode to negative, and you'll see that that's changed. Now, anti-aliasing, you want to say yes, because that's going to smooth out this line as much as possible. And you want to do a little bit of a feather. This is your feathering number here. Obviously, if you go too much, you're going to get this sort of thing. So you just want to do a slight amount, maybe even just like a one. You're going to need to skip through each and every one of these tracks and put that mask, make that mask bigger and bigger each time. All right, so I'm going to go back to the start, and I'm just going to move across by one. And all you need to do to do that is just press the right key. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new mask up here, out to here, and back up to there. Now, same thing, change it to negative, and you're going to put a little bit of feathering on that as well. And what you can actually do is put it outwards so that it's going out towards the transitional mark. Here's a quick version of me doing all of that. You ready? Set. Go! There we go. You want to make sure that it's all the way out of frame. As you can see, as I've gotten closer to this end, I've just changed the parameter. Instead of having to change it to negative, I'm just leaving it on positive for the moment. And the feathering is now in instead of out because it's inwards to the center of the to the center of this here. We should only have a couple more frames of this, I would say. This is the last frame. You'll see that the rest of my arm is now out of frame. What we'll do here is we'll reset the mask. We'll do a negative mask. This is the clip that we now have. So from start to finish of that clip. And then all you need to do, all we need to do to get that clip in behind it, let's go like this. And there we go. 
that's how you do a pass by transition in Vegas Pro. So that's been my vlog for the day. I hope that you've learned something. I hope that you're able to use it. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if there's a better way to do it. And that's really it. Geeky and Dangerous out!